Hi, Scarlet Envy here from RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 6. And today I'm gonna be recreating my entrance look. First impressions are everything. And who doesn't love a big hat? Watch me go from this to this. <gasps> Step one is uh, skincare. We gotta take care of our skin. So we're gonna tone, we're gonna moisturize, and we're gonna prime. I guess I am skipping a step here. The first step would be get your nails done. You don't have to do that, but like, why not, you know? I also put some chapstick on my lips to let it kind of sink in and prepare the lips to hold the color. Okay, so we are gonna put on some glue. Now, this is a good time to multitask, especially if you're in a hurry, do this and then do something else while it dries. That's a great tip. Now, while this is wet, I'll take the end of a brush and I just kind of like to push it down to make sure that it's as flat as we can get it because we are creating an illusion that there is no brow here. So while our eyebrows are drying, we're gonna go in with our color corrector. Of course, if you have seen my original season uh, of a Drag Race, season 11, I was occasionally the bearded lady, so we don't wanna be doing that anymore, okay? We're, we're, we're growing up, we're learning how to, uh, how to be better. <laughs> if you're not sure what color correcting means, we're just counteracting the blues in our face. We'll take our powder puff here, which of course is also industrial size. And we're just gonna set that so that it doesn't move under the foundation. Now, by the time you're finished color correcting and setting your color correction, your eyebrows will be ready for round two. So there's some parts of my face that need extra coverage, like the beard area and the eyebrow coverage specifically. So we're gonna use a stick to go in and make sure that nothing is coming through. My makeup has evolved, I would say, a lot. Um, in fact, I remember a lot of the judges uh, would tell me that, that I, you know, I, you know, they had seen improvement, which is good because, you know, I have really been putting the work in to develop, you know, new and better ways of doing this. But I would say it was a rude awakening when I first went on season 11 to see what my makeup looked like. <laughs> I thought that I was the only lady and didn't need anything other than a little bit of chapstick and I was wrong about that. It's okay, we have to definitely admit when we were when we are wrong and I can proudly admit that it was it was not correct. So we're going to go on top now with a warmer foundation, a liquid foundation. And basically what I do here is I want to make sure that my whole face is basically one color, one flat shade, because we're going to build our lights and darks up from there. We're ready for another layer of glue on our eyebrows. Normally this would be the ideal time to, you know, pour yourself a glass of wine, light a candle, talk some shit. We're gonna carve our face now while we wait for these brows to dry. And I like to use my highlight first. Um, this is kind of like a pinky white. Um, and I just kind of go in. And then I kind of just get, give a mark to where my new jawline will be. And actually, you know what? We might as well come down here a little bit too just so that the neck matches. Now we're coming in with our contour. And I have to be very careful because I have a tendency to put it lower than it should go. So that generally like ages me, it makes me look a little bit older if I put it down too low. But don't worry because you can always go back in. And now I'm gonna come in and carve my new jawline. And you don't want to go too crazy. Sometimes I, I go way up and it's, 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 
you have to kind of stay in reality a little bit. You can't completely carve it, but we can kind of tone it down a little bit. So we are gonna do a little bit of smoothing of these eyebrows. Now when you glue your eyebrows down, sometimes you might get a little bit of residual glue, a little bit of texture around the side, and we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is take just a glass of water, just get your finger a little bit wet, not too wet, you don't want too much water, and you're just gonna kind of rub the sides of that glue very gently and just kind of feel where there is a texture and you can kind of just smooth it out. So while that's drying, we're going to put uh, the powder on it right at the stage where it's kind of sticky, where it's kind of tacky. So we'll let that sit and we can start to just blend this out here. can take our dark one and blend our darks. Take your time with this cream phase. It'll make your life a lot easier if it's exactly what you want and then set it. I used to think, oh, my nose is fine. I don't need to do any contour on my nose. Actually, scratch that. I used to think, oh, my face is fine. I don't have to do any contouring on my face, <laughs> which is not the case. You know, this is my entrance look, and it was very important for me, specifically because my entrance look for my original season was, we could say, controversial uh, to begin with. I wanted to really show my competition that I have figured out my face. It was very important for me to look my very best. I mean, first impressions are everything. By this time, our eyebrows are definitely ready for our last layer of glue. And let me remind you that I am not a beauty guru, okay? I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm showing you how I do it. Leave it at that. Need I remind you, I am a Pisces. We're not good with the steps and things. It's an organic, it's an, it's a fluid relationship with our makeup, okay? Take a deep breath, let's do it together. Good, now let's lock in this brow. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So let's take our stick here and we're going to cover the brow. So we're just kind of highlighting under the brow where we should have, um, you know, our general highlight. And then I'm gonna kind of just add in some contour. So we're basically just redrawing the eyelid here to make sure we're mapping it. Okay, so now before we set the face with powder, we can go ahead and draw our eyebrows and just set them as well. So I'm taking a dark brown because that is what color my hair was, like a nice dark chocolate. So I like to start at the top of my eyebrow and I pull it up and out. And this is gonna make it look pulled up. We want these lines to be as clean as possible. And then I also like to go in and kind of cut that line under where our eyeliner will be. And again, we're always angling up and out. Using that same flat tip brush, I'm gonna just put a little bit of eye primer on the lid. This will just help set whatever we put on the lid. For this look, it is gonna be a very light, almost an iridescent AB kind of a glitter. 
So once you are satisfied with where you're at with the creams, we can go ahead and set everything, uh, which is one of my favorite parts because it's a little bit messy. This is a good time to go ahead and take off whatever you're wearing. Obviously, I have to draw my boobies on. Um, not everybody has to do that, but if you are gonna go ahead and put makeup on your chest, now is the time to do so. You definitely wanna match your decolletage to the rest of your face. We never like to see where the makeup just kind of stops at the neck. <laughs> That's never the look. <laughs> we don't want that. So we're gonna highlight basically like this. We can go ahead and blend this out. We're gonna take my dark contour, just the same we did with our face. And also a helpful tip for anyone who is drawing their boobs on, put your bra on first or put your dress on first to see where it's gonna hit your chest. That is a great, great tip because sometimes we just draw our boobs on and they don't make sense with the illusion of, of your bra or your dress. So now we're gonna set that just like we did our face, bringing this all the way down. And we are now ready to contour with our powders. So I like a nice warm brown. And I'm just gonna kind of go over where we have gone over our darks already. I'm gonna take a smaller brush with the same tone and go over where I have started cutting my crease. Now my outfit that I walked in with is a very loud dress and hat. So my makeup is fairly neutral for this as to not compete too much. Also, we are doing a big, bold red lip, which is gonna be the star of the face. So we don't want a whole lot distracting from that in terms of colors in the eye. I'm gonna come down here and add just a little bit under the eye. Now we are going to take the same powder moment, but with a white, a good matte white. We don't want any shimmer or shine. We want a very nice matte. And I'm just gonna kind of dab it right here where I want the lightest parts of my face. And then we will go in with that same brush to really make sure that the brow bone is as light as it can be. I'm gonna do the same thing with my eyelids here. Now moving on, the next step is our eyes. So let's start with a good, clean eyeliner. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna start at the base of the lid on the inside. And then I start pulling it out. And now I'm gonna go in and connect this part. So we're, we're basically cutting the crease now. So we're gonna take the same black. I've recently started doing a dropped liner on the bottom, which basically means I fill in the bottom of the, of the lash line and I just drop it down right here where I've added my highlight, basically. So right now we are ready for my contacts. 
Now it's time for mascara. I like to use a wispy one because the lashes that I like to wear are very wispy. So the, the more wisps I can get, the better. It was very important to me when I was walking into the workroom for the first time for All Stars that my makeup was the complete opposite of what it was the first time. The first time I walked in for season 11, I was not wearing very, very much. I was just a little chapstick in a dream. And this time I wanted the girls to know that I was serious. I was here. I have done the work on my face. And I was ready. So we're painting much heavier. We're gonna go in with our brown first, which is just a dark brown. And we're gonna start to kind of blend just a bit. So a good tip for your eyes is you want your eyeliner, the cat eye, the end of your cat eye, should eventually meet your eyebrow. So if they were to continue going forever, they would come to a point is what we're kind of looking for here. That's a good way to kind of figure out where your eyebrow should go. Sometimes our eyebrows are going up here. You know, you don't want it to be too curved. They should kind of shoo. You like that sound effect? Should I do it again? We can use our angle brush. We're gonna go in with our black powder, jet black. The darker, the better. Black, black, black. We're gonna go in and layer on top. Even if you have a good eyeliner, the eyeliner that I'm using is amazing, but I still set it. I'm gonna smoke out the bottom here so that it's less harsh of a line. And by that, we're just gonna use this little blendy brush here. And just kind of lightly, and there's no product on this, by the way. We're not putting any black eyeshadow on the brush before we do this. So we're gonna take a new brush here. This is like a flat brush. And I'm going to go over my eyebrows now with powder you're probably sensing a pattern here. Everything that was once cream is going to be covered in powder. So we're gonna take a little bit of powder on our brush, we're gonna tap it off so there's not too much. And I'm just gonna go over and you can see it's gonna make this eyebrow a little bit darker, a little bit warmer, which is exactly what we want. And I'm really generously applying this product to my brows, especially the part that has not been glued, because you wanna make sure you get it in through the hairs and really, really saturated. I just take it all the way in, maybe you shouldn't, but I do, I just take it all the way in, like to almost to my hairline, which is really far back, but also, why not, right? I like to then take a smaller angle brush with the same color and really, really get the details in there. We're gonna go ahead and add our glitter now before we put our lashes on. Glitter is a good thing to do before the lash just because it will do some falling out and you don't want it to get caught up in the lash. It's, it's hard to get all the glitter out and then you're kind of a mess, so. We're gonna take a glitter glue, like a glitter adhesive. I like one with a brush because then I can be very, very precise about it. And one at a time, being very careful, especially around the eye, we're just going to paint the glue on like so. And this is going to help really pop our eyelid. Yes, mama. It's like chapstick for your eyelid. Take a glitter, just pour it in. And then taking some kind of a flat brush like this is normally what I use. And then I just kind of like pack it on, being careful to avoid fallout as much as possible. Of course, it is nearly impossible to avoid fallout completely. You can see that this glitter kind of matches my nails really well. And then we can take a big brush 
and simply wipe it away. So it's time now for lashes. Lashes to lashes, dust to dust. A lot of people think you can never have enough lashes. Um, I don't think that's true. I think you definitely can have too much lashes. You don't want to be completely overwhelmed. You've done such beautiful work on your eye, why cover all of it, you know? What a difference a lash will make. Oh, wow. These are like a nice mink eyelash. Like I love like a fuzzy, fuzzy eyelash. Now, because this is all stars, we are definitely gonna put bottom lashes on too. Bottom lashes can be very, very tricky because if they are too low, you start to look a little bit skeletal, a little bit um, spooky. And while those are drying, Next, I'm gonna do blush. Now, this look has a lot of pink in it, and it's a bright pink, so I want a nice, bright, electric pink to really bring out that tone. And we're gonna basically recontour our cheek with this. This is, by the way, you'll notice the first color that I've put on my face. I have changed my makeup a lot, but one thing that has remained true is that I just love a neutral palette. I can't help it. I just love a neutral. And go ahead and make whatever face you need to make to feel your fantasy, okay? A lot of times it's like this for me. Oh, I'm a star. Oh, I'm gorgeous. Oh, look at you. They're gonna love you. Oh my God. How lucky this blush is to be going on this cheekbone. Now, I know it's a little intense, but I also like to put it up here, just so that it's not so isolated on one part of the face. And we can even go in here a little bit. A lot of this is just to make you feel better. People might not notice this, but you will. A nice trick is to actually take on a smaller brush your blush. You can use blush in your eye. So I take it, and I'll just kind of dab it in really, really subtly so that you have a little bit of warmth and color in the eye that kind of goes with the cheek without it being too much. And of course, we're gonna wanna blend this out again. Very subtle pink eye. Continuing with our blush, we're gonna use a highlighter now. And I like a nice pink one. And I like to use a small, small brush, a very fluffy one, so that you can really get just what you want. You don't wanna over highlight by using too large of a brush. And we're just going on the tips of my cheekbones here. I'm also gonna do the same for the bottom of my nose here, the tip, a little bit of the bridge, a tiny bit of the forehead. my lips, my chin. And while we're highlighting, why not go ahead and just hit your titties so that they shine like they, like they should. Just kind of give myself an all over wet look with like a nice bronzer. So I prime my lips with a little bit of uh, a lip plumper, which is a temporary sting to your lips to get her good and ready, a little bit bigger. It'll last for a couple of hours. So it's time for a big, bold red lip. Now the last time we walked through a red lip, I just put on a gorgeous um, flat red, which is still awesome, but I've actually started lining my red lips with black eyeliner. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but it really helps to add dimension and depth to the red lip. So the first step in our red lip is black eyeliner. I take a black powder. 
kind of blend that line in. And now we go in with a liquid lip. I have two different reds here. I think I'm gonna use the darker red because it matches closer to what I will be wearing. And we're just gonna cover this completely, all of it. Now this will dry and there will be kind of a sheen to it. It is a little bit transparent so the black will come through. And now for a finishing gloss for this lip. Now to wrap up this look for the finishing touches, we're gonna just add a few stones to the inside and the outside of the eyes, the same stones on my nails. I just use the end of a brush, dab a little bit of the glue, we'll put one here, we'll put one here. Just a little extra sparkle because it is all stars. <laughs> here and here. Finishing touches here with just a little bit of extra, extra sparkly snowflake powder on just the tips of the face that we know we really, really want to highlight. Even do some in the ear, the ear. While that's setting, I'm gonna go ahead and pull my face back. We're gonna put our wig on and get this look wrapped all the way up. I think we're looking really gorgeous, but I always think that, so. Insta facelift. Tight enough to give you a headache is what you want, okay? <laughs> Well, that about wraps up the face. We are pulled, we are plucked, and we are glossed, which means it's time to put on our look. Let's go get in drag. And this is the final look from season six of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars, my entrance look. We're kicking things off with a bang. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. And I feel like we really got to know each other. We got ready together. Of course, this is my favorite, favorite look because it's a hat. And who doesn't love a say something hat? <laughs> Follow me online at Scarlet Envy. Thank you. I love you. Mwah. Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel and you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.